Hello everyone, Bobo Rail here, and today I've got your usual update video for Vigor Update 7.0 Mercenaries. This season adds some new content, including the usual weapons and quality of life improvements. Anyways, let's get straight into things. So first up, obviously there's a new battle pass themed around modern military operators it seems, and it's a great concept that's been suggested by the community since the game first released. And I think the devs did a great job with this one, all the skins are very detailed and have a tactical aesthetic. This is in my opinion the best cosmetic season Vigor has ever had, so I'm looking forward to using these. If you're looking for a full, more in-depth review of the battle pass, Chris made a video looking over all the available cosmetics, so if you're interested, go check that out. In terms of real content, first let's talk guns. There were three new guns added to the game with this update, those being the M93 Rafika, the M60, and the Lashiev, aka the Spaz-12. The B93 Rafrica is a 3 round burst machine pistol that shoots 9mm and is incredibly accurate with very little recoil. To be honest, I think it's too good for its white rarity, and because of that, I bet we'll be seeing a lot of people using this gun throughout the season. Next, we have the M60. This gun shoots the 7.62x51 ammo, and it's pretty low recoil, but average bloom LMG. I really like the feel of this gun, it seems balanced, it's fairly cheap, and I love its aesthetic. Now the Spaz-12. It's very difficult to say how it performs really due to the random deviation of shotgun spread, but generally it feels like a very strong weapon in CQB that really falls off at medium range. Really that's just how a shotgun should perform though, so I'm very happy with it. Next let's talk about the return of Fist Fabrique. Apparently there was a game breaking bug that made this map unplayable, and so it was withdrawn from the game in season 5. But I'm happy to say it's back now, and at least from what I've seen, it's exactly like the old Fisk, and there are no major changes to the map's layout. Something else you'll notice in encounters is that some exits are now locked, and require small amounts of loot to use. I really like this one, this is a cool and simple feature that helps to prioritize looting. Also in encounters, you'll see there are only one of three existing POIs now. This is likely the most controversial decision of this update, with there only being one type of safe POI, there is only so much loot to go around per game, and Chris intends on making a video breaking down the pros and cons of this soon, so stay tuned for that. The last thing we need to cover today is the addition of anti-camper measures. Standing still for a long period of time can now cause a mortar strike to hit your position. I find this a tad extreme, but it should help combat campers, so I guess it's fine. Anyways, that's all I've got for you guys today. This has been Bobo Rail, and I'll catch you in the next one.